saw the dead. He didn't say he saw the people that was up in heaven come down and say, uh, God said, come on now, now. I got to have judgment on y'all. Even though you've been up heaven for a long time, it's judgment day here now. We just going to go down and do that, then we're going to go come back up to heaven. That wouldn't make no sense. <laughs> or somebody in hell all that time, they got to come up, and he's going to say, I'm sorry I've been burning y'all this time, but we're going to see if you really need to be burned now. We're going to have judgment day. That's ludicrous. But no, when you're dead, you have to wait on this. He said, I saw the dead. And he said he saw all of them. Small and great, didn't he? Go ahead. And the books were open. So start at 12 again. Okay. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. Uh-huh. And the books were open. Uh-huh. And another book was open, which is the book of life. See, the books were open. Go ahead. And what did he judge you out of? And the dead would judge out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. According to their works, you're going to get judged. So much for you don't have to do no works. Solomon told you the whole duty of man is to fear God and keep his command. See, people have a problem doing that, but they worried about some other books. See, that's your struggle right there. Once you get that, you know how to get there already. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't read no other book, but we keep reading it. The, the scripture to keep being reminded and refreshed and to keep growing. But once you know you got to fear God and keep his commandments, according to the scripture, hey, you on your way then. But now one more place, 2 Timothy 3. Because the Lord has showed you everything from the beginning of his creation to judgment day and beyond and all in between. So what is it that we lack it? And he clearly just showed us how to get over on Judgment Day. But just in case, we're going to let Paul reiterate it. 2 Timothy 3 and, and verse 14. 2 Timothy 3 and verse 14. And read it. Go ahead. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of. Uh -huh. Now, once you learn something, the key is continuing in it. And that's why we're here to be reminded every Sabbath. But go ahead. That's what the Sabbath is for anyway. Go ahead. Knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Uh-huh. In that form of... And who you learning from? You ain't learning from me per se, because what we teach it is the Bible. He said, knowing of, who, of whom thou hast learned them. Go ahead. And that from a child. Go ahead. And, from a, and that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures. The Holy Scriptures. Go ahead. Which are able to make thee wise unto salvation uh, through faith which is in Christ Jesus. It's all in the Holy Scriptures. Because people say, well, you know, all you got to do is believe in Jesus. Yeah, you got to search the Scripture to find out about Jesus, though. Or else you believe in some other person. You got to search the Scriptures to find out about Jesus. Jesus told you that, didn't he? He said, that's what testified me, the scriptures. So he's telling you the same thing. He said, from a child you have known what? The holy scriptures. See, this is what it all based on. Again, brothers and sisters, wasn't no New Testament Paul made this statement. And that's amazing. You got people say they New Testament script, script, uh, Christians and want to do away with the Old Testament. You ain't got to do that. And this is what Paul telling you is going to save you. And that from a child you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise. The Scriptures are able to make you wise enough to get salvation, to save your soul through faith in Christ Jesus. But you've got to get it from the Scripture. Go ahead, verse 16. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God. So you mean Leviticus 11, verse 7, that say don't eat swine, it's unclean. That was inspired by God? Mm -hmm. And we need to follow that. I mean, that is scripture, right? It is in this Bible. That show you if, if, if uh, something was changed and messed up, hey, they didn't change enough. See, it's not a problem with something we not having enough. It's a problem with people believing what we got. That's in the Bible, but don't nobody believe it, right? God can put it in a book for you and you don't believe And you got the book. That's a shame. I see people walking around with the Bible all the time. They walking around with the Bible. You, you ask them, do you believe what's in the Oh, yeah. Well, what about Leviticus 11 and 7? Well, see, we ain't got to do that. And you, by the time you get through telling them stuff, they say you ain't got to do it, you might as well take the Bible. Give me that Bible. You don't <laughs> believe in that. He said all scripture is given by inspiration of God, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And what is it? Is it good for something? Go ahead. 
and is profitable. That's good for it. Go ahead. For doctrine. For doctrine. You can teach some te you can teach the doctrine of God out of it. Go ahead. For reproof. For reproving somebody. Go ahead. For correction. Uh-huh. For instruction in righteousness. Uh-huh. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. I hope you got some understanding in Jesus, man. Sabbath announcement.